beautiful picture of Mount Hood in the Benchmade catalog. And yes, more bad news for the wives and girlfriends of knife addicts around the world that are into the Benchmade brand. Because again, 2009 is bringing us a lot of cool designs. Cracks me up. I hear from a lot of dudes around the world that say, uh, hey, nothing fancy, man, when I'm playing your videos. And the wife comes in and hears your voice. She just cringes. She knows I'm watching one of your gear, revids, uh, gear review vids. And next thing she knows, I want to buy it. Uh, I laugh. I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, my wife's the same way, Mrs. Nut and Fancy. She doesn't like it when I'm into the knife stuff. And she knows now with the Nut and Fancy project, hey, you know what? It's just going to, it's here to stay. It's not leaving. And she knows that. She still rolls her eyes, laughs. Hey, let's talk about this knife. Speaking of new Benchmade designs, this is a 10700 Nagara. I hope I'm saying that right. I think I am. New for 2009. Beautiful knife. I'm impressed with this blade. And again, here comes some philosophy like I always like to integrate into my reviews. I like reviewing things that I like to promote. No, I'm not associated with any maker. I'm not associated with Benchmade in any way or Cold Steel or Kershaw or SOG. Any of these. I'm an independent reviewer. That's what I like. I don't maintain associations with these companies in as much that I'm on the take, I get money. No, I don't give a crap about any of that. I will say good things, I will say bad things about their blades. I've done that with Benchmade. I've blasted some of their products before and they deserved it. I may do so in the future. I reserve the right to do that with any maker. To be independent takes work. There are things that have tried and corporations and companies that have tried to glom on to the Nut and Fancy project. I will always resist those attempts. I'm independent. That being said, I will promote the designs that I personally like. And that means that not everything in the Benchmade catalog will you see a review on in the Nut and Fancy project, like this one, the Nitra Striker. I'm, I'm not super hip on it. That's just a random pick out from the cat catalog. Uh, I'm not super fond of that knife, you know, the blade shape. I'm uh, just not. The serrated models, the partially serrated, don't like them. You probably will not see a review on that because I don't want to promote it. However, the 10700, I do. I want to promote it. I think it's a great knife for around $60. Let's look at it in person. What do you say? There it is. Beautiful knife. This is a red line knife, meaning that it is an overseas produced blade, not made in the United States. Some guys will balk at this. They'll say, or balk at it. They'll say, hey, you know what? That sucks. I only buy US made blades. I want to support the United States of America. And I don't like Chinese or Taiwanese produced blades. Sorry about the tripod. Let me square this away. And I understand that. I've said that in other videos. Kind of like when I did the SOG Fusion uh, model when I reviewed that. I understand that. Some guys are just anti-overseas produced. But I don't think that's a majority opinion. I don't. I think most guys, if they're into blades or need blades to square away their system, they're willing to look at an over overseas produced blade. And it doesn't matter where it's made. I've said this too before many times. It depends on our quality controls. If we have high quality controls like Benchmade obviously does with the 10700 Nagara, you're going to have a good knife. It's going to be the result of good quality control. Even though it might be made in, like it says right here, China. Chinese produced, however, ultra quality. You guys, when you pick up the 10700, are going to be amazed at the fit and finish. I will tell you that right now. It does not seem like a red line produced blade. Red line, in most people's minds, knowing that it's the overseas produced models from Benchmade, they think it's kind of analogous along maybe the lines of Bird by Spyderco, which is an excellent line, high value nice. I've done a review of one of their models. Uh, and they may be very shocked to find out that this Benchmade 10700 does not look like a red line knife. It looks like a blue line, maybe even higher. Look first off at the polish job on that clip. Super high sheen, carries over to the blade. Beautiful, beautiful polish job throughout the knife, at least on the metal surfaces. 
beautiful blade. I am a sucker, I will tell you this right now, for solid titanium handles. I am. The CUDA Max that I reviewed, uh, I will tell you, has that solid titanium frame lock design. I love it. This is not a frame lock, but it does have solid titanium handles. Very, very impressive. Good looking. I'm a sucker for this color too. Getting into the second kind of cool. I love that color blue. You might have a little bit of color variation within the handle, but that's normal for any, at least that I've seen, titanium slabs. It, this is a pretty uniform color, but it's just gorgeous. It's that uh, kind of a sky blue color. Just beautiful. And then when you contrast that against that three and a quarter inch 9CR13 blade, beautiful. See what I'm saying? This is a shocking uh, price point for such high quality, around $60. A little bit more, a little bit less, your mileage may vary, just depends. Uh, for me, uh, yeah, this is my knife. I loved it so much, I had to add it. And my wife cringed when I bought it, again. Love it, it's a great knife. Let's talk about specifics. The blade shape is very pointed. It's a drop point utility blade, Benchmade tells us, and it has somewhat of a delicate tip on it. To be fair, I have critiqued other blades that have this type of blade on it, uh, meaning that as an EDC blade, that's going to be a tip that experiences a lot of wear, and actually you could probably wear the thing out entirely. Could it happen? Yes, it could. Uh, very sharp tip. You would find it nice for digging out splinters, emergency medical use if you kept it sharp. Yeah, you could use it. Um, and you're going to have to take some care with it. This is not a tip that you'd want to subject to hard use unless you want to break it off or just wear it out. Okay, kind of along the lines of a gentleman's folder. That's what this this knife is. Very delicate lines, beautiful slender shape on this drop point. I love the blade shape. And yes, I'm willing to forgive the delicate tip because overall I'm, in, I'm just digging the blade. Uh, long, just have a, a long blade with just a moderate amount of sweep here. Not too much. Again, this is where I say most of your use with your EDC blade is going to take place. Right here, right here, and at the tip, of course. When you open a package, for instance, what do you use to open the package? Are you using this bottom portion of the edge? Nope, you're not. You're going to be using the tip. Oh, what do you know? This is also one of the first production 10700s. This is labeled 737 out of 1000. That makes it a little bit more special. Not necessary, but if I can get one that has that, I'll get it. Love it. It's just gives it a little bit more exclusivity. Again, I'm just enamored with a polish job on that blade. Beautiful. How about the steel? Eight, 9CR13. You can see it stamped right there. I'm not an expert on steel, nor do I have any use uh, experience with this particular make. Uh, I have talked to some guys, and I know that it's getting good reports, and it should be a kind of analogous perhaps to AUS8 steel. And, of course, 8CR13 steel, which I think is a good steel, very similar to AUS8. If we look at the steels chart in the Benchmade catalog, we can see that the chromium and carbon content levels of the 9CR steel are actually surprisingly high. Here's the steel right here, 0.85, and compared against 154CM, which runs about a percent, uh, not not as high, so meaning that perhaps won't retain an edge quite as well. Chromium levels, that's another key thing I look at because that is indicative of rust resistance. 154CM, just using as a reference steel, has 14 on the chart. And pretty close, same for 9CR13MOV, 13.5. You can get into the other things like molybdenum that would show toughness. Uh, where am I looking? I'm looking through the viewfinder here. There it is. And that's 0.2, blah, 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 4% versus there. So you can get into the specifics. I'm not the steels expert. I know a lot of guys say, not fancy, make a steels vid. I don't think I'm a steels expert. Uh, I have a general idea what works, what doesn't from my experience. I do have some preferences. And perhaps like most people, they may or may not be based in absolute fact. Um, it's just because it's hard to get a database for all the steels. Suffice it to say, for an overseas produced knife, with an overseas produced steel, I think you will be happy, this is just my initial take on this steel, with a 9CR13. For the POU of this knife, which is, in my opinion, an EDC blade, you're going to be pleased with it. I think it's going to have adequate edge retention, easy enough to sharpen, 
adequate toughness for all the uses that this could realistically be put to no problem to the handle is it ergonomic yes it is I like the feel and fit of the handle in hand it's comfortable dig it now let's talk about this lock they call it the knack lock mechanism and all it is is a button that impinges upon the inner liner okay there's a button in here you can see that as I push the button it depresses that inner liner of the knife simple in use almost looks like an auto knife doesn't it when you first look at the Nagara you look oh that's an auto knife nope not an auto knife nor do you use that to deploy the knife this is only to retract the blade to deploy the knife we're going to grab onto those ambidextrous thumb studs which by the way are adequately shaped no shaped no volcano problems here and the titanium uh, handle scales are indented ie relieved to access that thumb stud that makes deployment quick and easy adequate traction on that and then to retract the blade we're going to push that knack lock button and retract as such I think the deployment is excellent comes out fast locks up tight I know I sound like a broken record anytime I talk about bench maids well maybe not anytime but mostly we have no problems with the lockup and the Nagara is no different it locks up absolutely solidly you could adjust it with a pivot point if you needed to very impressed with it very impressed and the deployment again is quick now the pocket clip I would kinda like to have it little mounted a little bit higher on the handle there uh, thereby maybe preventing loss of the knife it's kinda mounted a little bit down on the handle you can see it right here and that's just a minor hit on that so you're gonna have this whole portion extending from your pocket and carry that being said though at least it's on the right side again this is my preference I always like tip up carry not always but mostly like tip up carry and I think it suits Nagara nicely you can switch switch that pocket clip from left to right if you are left handed no problem there and I love the design of the pocket clip it's very standard bench made you know just like you saw in the 940 and others and the polish finish for the theme of the knife which is a very beautiful EDC blade fits it perfectly this is not a tactical knife this is a collectible slash high class EDC blade high class for a low price dig it you can take the handle scales off if you need to I always like that option should I dunk it in salt water both sides have many torque screws in them and I think they probably here's a minor criticism they probably could have done a skeletonizing job on the inside of the 10700 Nagara had they done that maybe would have we would have had a lighter weight knife it's not a super light knife 3.6 3.5 ounces and had we skeletonized those in those steel liners we probably would have had I don't know 3.2 3.1 ounce knife just a minor criticism but overall impressive wouldn't you say impressive blade it's good looking the fit quality finishing on the blade are just outstanding for a sixty dollar knife if you're looking for a carry knife that is impressive and looks and adequate in performance maybe above adequate in performance look to the 10700 Nagara I'm a fan it's going to stay in the nut and fancy collection and yes it's going to get entered into my best EDC playlist uh, I'm sure I forgot some stuff but I think I hit most of the details and what do you know I'm under 20 minutes that is freaking amazing 10700 Nagara check it out it's new 2009 from Benchmade good job Benchmade you're giving us lots of good well produced high value knives sure appreciate it nothing fancy we'll see you later stay tuned a lot more fun coming